Ponder it, my brother, again, these quiet moments as you sit before the Lord. And you're a believer in the Lord Jesus. Know this, that you only became that because the transcendent Lord of heaven and earth bowed down to you and personally caused you to hear his voice like little Samuel in the temple and called you and called you by name. Known to God himself, personally and individually called by God himself. And he shall keep you. Now unto him that's able to keep you from falling and to present you before the presence of his glory without blemish in exceeding joy. I love those words that our Lord uttered in his prayer before the shades of Gethsemane closed in upon them. Reviewing his life's ministry and the handful of men that were around him said he to his father of all you have given me, I have lost. Not one. Say the son of petition that the scripture might be fulfilled. But of all those that were genuine believers, I have lost not one. And then with very deep poignancy, he turns to his father and says, but now I'm no longer in the world and I must hand to you the task of keeping me. Now I come to thee, Holy Father, keep them, you keep them. I say to myself, I say, my good man, ponder a moment. If the Lord Jesus in his ministry could say, I have kept them and not one of them is lost. Shall the Father do less than the Son? And shall the Father not keep them? With all that same devotion and with all that same effectiveness and success as the blessed Lord Jesus kept them in the days of his flesh. Ah, he shall indeed. And he shall present you with all the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. And the time draws near.